Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day. So yesterday I tested FSD beta version 10.11 here in San Francisco and I just want to show you some of the incidents that I ran into. It was about a 15 minute ride in total um, with traffic and the very first incident here I covered in an in-depth video yesterday so I'll link that video below. I'm not going to go more in-depth uh, on this video but I wanted to include it. So we're turning right, and for some reason the car keeps turning right into this parked car. Uh, it's quite a scary moment for me, but that was the very beginning of the ride. And in this case, um, it's a busy intersection, and the car patiently waits for its turn, and then it goes correctly. So I was really happy with that performance. Uh, in this case, we come to the stop sign and we have to go to the left there. And I was, as I was personally a little confused, but the car did a great job um, going the right way, which it's quite nice uh, with FSD beta. If you don't know exactly where you're going, the, the car can do a better job than you can. Uh, for the FS, FSD beta interfaces, you know, high bandwidth, low latency, high information. Uh, we want to stop, actually. I don't know if it was going to stop there. It didn't feel... Okay, I'm going to mute it because I talked so much yesterday. Um, so let's rewind a bit. And we're turning left, and then there's a stoplight very quickly. You can see we're going 13 miles an hour. And um, so I'd say this is probably the critical moment here. There's a stop line ahead of us. You can see there's two red lights. And if you look on the visualization, you see our solid blue spline that's continuing through the intersection and you don't see the stoplights um, visualized. So it's obvious that the system would have ran the red light in this case and that was what it felt like for me in the car. And that's why I applied the, the brake and took over. You can see here the FSD beta is engaged and it should go gray right there when I hit the brakes. And you see how the spline goes from blue to gray, but it's still solid, which means the car still thinks it should go through if it was driving. And then you see it starts to figure out, and there it shortens the spline. Um, you see that the solid part um, shortens. That means that's what it's going to do. Um, so in this case, the car would now stop if it were driving, but I'm the one in control. And I think we're starting to see, yep, we're starting to see the lights visualized on the on the screen there and it, and there's another uh, light on the left there so I was kind of bummed it would have ran the red light um, but that's how it goes <laughs> and in this case we have the cyclist on the right there and I'm just gonna pause so you can see the new um, lane visualization there for 10.11 um, you can see the lane on the right is ending, but the car has decided to change lanes to the right. Uh, I have no idea why, perhaps because we have to turn right in half a mile. But um, So it's a little awkward behavior. It's trying to change lanes into a lane that doesn't exist. And then if you look at the tentacle, you can see this is actually on the far right here. Um, down the road, that's actually a bike lane. So it's trying to change into the bike lane for a second there. Um, but as time progresses, the system uh, realizes that the lanes are going away and, and doesn't um, doesn't change lanes. It does the appropriate thing. So kind of awkward, but no, no big problem. And in this case, I'll just pause before we go. So you can see on the map that we're going to turn left, and it's an immediate right. It's less than half a block. Um, before we have to turn right. So it, it should be trying to get into the outside lane. It's a two lane road that it's turning into. Um, but it doesn't, it gets in the left lane first. And we can see here, so we're going 17 miles an hour. Uh, we need to turn right there. And you see the spline hasn't worked that out yet, but we do have the blinker on. So I think a person in this case would slow down and move over, there's plenty of room. Uh, to move over. You can see in the mirror here the cars that are behind us. You can't actually see it, but there's a there's a truck next to that car in the lane. So there's plenty of room uh, to change lanes. 
And let's see what we do here. So it actually wants to go out around. It's still accelerating, by the way. We're now going 18 miles an hour. And it wants to go around that car and then change. You can see we're getting some steering input. And it still wants to go around, but it is being safe. You could see there, um, I was ready to take over. And then it starts turning, but it decides against it and continues. And then it immediately decides to change lanes since it's missed the turn, uh, which makes sense, but it then decides not to <laughs> and goes back. So it was a safe enough interaction, but it was like herky jerky like that. Uh, let me just play that again for you guys at full speed. <laughs> kind of jerky, huh? And in this case, we had to wait for some pedestrians, and then these cars went. And a little awkward going to, at the Lexus there. If you watch our speed, we're just starting to take off here. We were four miles per hour, five, six. Um, so it was a bit assertive. I am on assertive mode, but it felt like it was getting a little too close to the Lexus. And then the car decides it's also getting too close. So you can see now it slows down five, four miles per hour, uh, and then turning back to the left. So it's quite uh, awkward, like for the passenger in that case, where it sped up, slowed down, turned too hard, turned back. So just little awkward things like that. So those were the highlights of my FSD beta version 10.11 ride yesterday. Uh, we did have the one red light we were gonna run. And other than that, some pretty decent performance, but some new weird control logic that I'm still getting used to. And I just wanna mention from this 15 minute ride, everything that I didn't show was nominal and the, the system performed well. There were some nice corners um, that were smooth and confident and I was really happy with the performance on everything else. Uh, to the point where it's kind of boring and I don't feel like showing it. So that's all I've got. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.